Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine, and today I'm going to show you how to improve your reading skills by using graded readers. Reading is a skill that might seem hard to get better at. And that's because we usually tend to do reading exercises that are not according to our level. So how do you find reading passages according to your level? That is what graded readers are here for. Graded readers are mostly famous books or stories that have been adapted to the different levels of English that there are. So first, you need to know what levels there are. You can check them in this video. And then you have to know where you are. I'll leave the links in the description, don't worry. So first thing, you need to know exactly what level you are. You cannot say intermediate, because intermediate, intermediate is too vague. We need to be more specific than that. Uh, and then when you have your level, you go and look for the reader that goes according to your level. I have here a book, for example. This is The Secret Garden. And in this particular book, well, I take a picture of this. Um, the words have been chosen for a pre-intermediate student. The pre-intermediate student is a level A2 and it has a hundred head words. It means that that is the range of vocabulary where the person in the level A2 is. So if you're level A2, you have to look for books in that level. And that's it. This is intensive reading. So the readers have activities. For example, this one has some before you read activities in vocabulary, reading, listening, and speaking. Oh yeah, most of the readers come with CDs, or I suppose uh, you can find readers online too that will give you the audios, so you can not only just read, but listen while you're reading, which is great for pronunciation. And then after each chapter, you will also have some questions. The same, the questions will be about reading, grammar, writing, speaking and listening. So this is where you can do more for yourself and look for additional new vocabulary that you found or for additional information on the grammar point that they present that if it's here, it's the grammar that you should know well at this level. Now when you're done with a book like this, you can either choose another book in the same level or go to a higher level and you'll see if you're ready for that or you should stay in this level or maybe you found this a little bit too difficult and that's not the idea. The idea is that you're comfortable if it's your level so you can go down a level. Now if you're like me and you'd like to do it all over again and start practicing your skills from zero, you can go straight to readers for starters. I'm sure you'll find useful content, grammar and vocabulary too. So don't just read passages and answer questions. That's not gonna help you increase your level. I'm just gonna show the level you have now. You need to go down to the level where you are and do intensive reading. That is studying what you're reading, reflecting on what you're reading, checking the grammar of what you're reading. And if you have questions and you need to be guided into what the book is saying. That's what readers can help you with. I hope you find this video useful, that you start using readers. You can buy them, you can borrow them, you can read them at your favorite library. Because yeah, libraries still exist and there are some really good ones. Choose what suits you better and start working. Don't forget this takes time, perseverance and lots of practice. Thank you for watching. Do share, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.